Hello YouTubers, this is KJ6EPL and today I've got a solution for a rather annoying problem for those of us that like small toy drones like this here. This here I've got the Yixin H8S 3D and it is susceptible to this issue. Those of you who have flown can probably relate with me. You fly this around, you have the tiny little crash and boom, a propeller just comes flying off. And then, especially when learning to fly, you end up spending two minutes of flying and five minutes searching for where the darned propellers went. Very, very annoying. There's a couple things I've tried to fix this. The first thing I tried, unsuccessfully, was to crimp the hub of the propeller with pliers, give it a good squish. The effects of this were temporary and it also had the tendency to distort the propeller. The solution, my second attempt that I'm going over with you today, is to roughen up the surface of the drive shaft with sandpaper. Giving it a rougher, sur rougher surface helps it to grip the propeller better and I've been doing this for some time and it does work quite well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go ahead and take all of the propellers off of your quadcopter. Next thing, you're going to want to plug in a battery. This here is just a little testing battery I use. It's not actually the battery that goes with the drone, but it'll work just fine today. Go ahead and plug in the battery and bind to your transmitter. Okay, we're bound. Next, you're gonna take your piece of sandpaper, kind of fold it in half like this, give it a little bit of throttle, and rub it on the drive shaft of the motors. Rub it back and forth like so. Do that to all four motors. Don't have to spend a lot of time on it. You're just basically deglazing the, the drive shaft so that the propellers have something to stick to. And that's all there is to it. Now when putting your propellers back on, if it worked, you'll notice they should be harder to push back on than they were initially. That's a good sign. If you do this and you're still having issues, you can repeat the procedure a second time. And if it still is a problem, then you might want to move down to a coarser grit. This here, in case I forgot to mention it, I'm using 400 grit here. That's been sufficient on other drones. Uh, but again, if, if you've got it really bad and that's still still not doing it you might move down to like 200 grit but suggest I, su I suggest you start with a finer grit first because you can always you can you're taking material off the drive shaft you can always take more off but you can never put material back and if you sand off too much material from the shaft then the diameter is going to get smaller and it's not going to grip the propellers at all. So start with a fine grit and work your way down to a coarser grit if the problem persists. Hope you find this helpful. Please like and comment. Have a nice day.